Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Rustic Waters with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you may be wondering why my skin has changed here. Uh, I went into it last episode, but just a quick little recap. Uh, this is part of a server-wide tribute uh, from the Land of Zankar server, which I'm a member of, uh, towards a uh, fallen member, uh, somebody who's passed away, Ta. Uh, we have you know, all accepted a 30-day sort of challenge in his memory, sort of based on a game that he had built. Uh, I'm not going to go into it too much, but if you go check out those Land of Zankar videos. Uh, there will be, you know, a much better explanation of what's going on. But for 30 days, uh, this is going to be my skin. And, you know, uh, things are going to be not so much different here, but certainly different on the Land of Zankar uh, without Ta. So uh, if you have been following along, though, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Last episode, we did the your first expansion, which gave us a key to unlocking a new area, which is right there behind us. I also did the innkeeper, which got us our uh, hearthstone, which is a way to teleport back to your bed. And then I did the uh, nutrition one, which uh, because I was running out of food and we needed uh, to make ourselves some apple juice. So I've got a bunch of apple juice as food. Now, this episode, though, what we're going to do is we're going to start on the rats quest. This is a fun little uh, mod that is basically our first set of automation, like full on automation uh, that we kind of do in the game. I am going to skip over this grinding out for a bit uh just so you know it is basically a way of getting alloy uh powders into our world we don't need any alloys yet so i'm going to leave that until we actually do uh but first off we're going to do the furry friends quest then we're going to do the milking it and then i'm going to show you how to set up an automatic cheese station before we move on to actually creating our first rat so to start, we first need to make ourselves a cauldron. To make a cauldron, it is simply seven iron ingots in a workbench gets us that cauldron. And if we give this one a second, there we go, quest complete, furry friends. Now this is one we absolutely have to go and collect our reward for because our reward in this case is a cow in a jar and a bucket. So the bucket, not so much. I mean, we've got other buckets in our world. That's not a big deal. The cow in the jar is basically would be essential to us making uh, cheese. So if you're not familiar, a cow in a jar is exactly what it sounds like. It is a cow that is in a jar and it slowly collects up milk once it gets to a thousand millibuckets, you can take a bucket uh, of milk out of that and you can basically, you know, use it in your world. Our first way of making cheese, though, is using this cauldron. And it is not very good. It is very, very manual. I've tried to automate this and I just, there's just no way of doing it, which is probably intentional in the game that they don't want a way uh, of early automation. There is a way of doing it uh, that is very, very simple, uh, but we are going to require six cheese. So I'm going to do a little bit of grinding here. We're going to wait for 6,000 millibuckets of uh, milk to get in there. And then we're going to go sort of make our cheese uh, while we're at it. Okay. So really quickly, we're not quite there yet with the milk, but I can actually start making this cheese now. So we're not quite waiting quite at the time, but basically I've taken a bucket of milk. I've thrown it into the cauldron. All we're going to do is give it a few seconds. There you go. It is now turned into a block of cheese. We right click. There you go. Quest complete milking it. Let's start a second one. We can open up our quest book and we can claim our first reward, which is a rat up upgrade platter. Now the rat upgrade platter will allow rats to transfer entire stacks of items at a time. This is very, very useful when you are, you know, getting a rat to kind of, you know, move stuff from chests rather than moving it one item at a time. They can now carry like a full, uh, full stack of items, which is really, really good. And this is going to be our third set of cheese. We're going to go and wait until we get six more. So I'm going to go give this a second and then we'll be right back. All right, and ooh, okay, here we go. There we go. Last bucket of milk uh, to make our six pieces of cheese. Why six pieces of cheese? Well, this is a very, very manual process. So there is a way to automate the cheese uh, before you get to the rats, because we are going to need an absolute ton of cheese uh, to get these rats uh, all sorted out. So I've got six pieces of cheese. We're going to need this cauldron. And then we're also going to need a crafting table. So if we go and put in 
six pieces of cheese, a hopper, a cauldron, and a piece of glass, we can get ourselves a curdling station. Automatic cheese production. Milk goes in, cheese comes out. So this is a little bit more efficient uh, than the cauldron by itself. Uh, basically, what we can do is we've got our milk up here. We can take a funnel. We can go shift, click. This funnel will now take the milk out of the milk or the cow in the jar and it will start pushing it into our uh, curdling station. And if we open it up, you can see how much milk's in there right now. This will hold a stack of cheese. What we can do to make this a little bit more efficient. I swear I had a hopper on me. So what we could do is we can go, we could take a hopper, we could take a chest. And if we go place that there, we can go throw that hopper in there. And yeah, you can see it is now pulling in uh, cheese from the uh, cheese curdler station. Actually, I could have flipped it back over here, which would just, you know, make the, make it a little bit more efficient space wise. But this is automatic cheese. As soon as it gets up to a thousand millibuckets of milk, it'll turn that milk into a block of cheese and then it will go over here uh, for storage. Now, like I said, for going forward, we're going to need an absolute ton of cheese before we can do uh, the rest of these quests. So I'm going to let this run in the background. We'll come back next time and hopefully have, you know, quite a bit of cheese to work with. But uh, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi. As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.